Even if I knew that tomorrow the world would go to pieces, I would still plant my apple tree. We are saved by faith alone, but the faith that saves is never alone. If you want to change the world, pick up your pen and write. So when the devil throws your sins in your face and declares that you deserve death in hell, tell him this, I admit that I deserve death in hell, what of it? For I know one who suffered and made satisfaction on my behalf. His name is Jesus Christ, Son of God, and where he is there I shall be also. I have so much to do that I shall spend the first three hours in prayer. This life therefore is not righteousness, but growth in righteousness, not health, but healing, not being but becoming, not rest but exercise. We are not yet what we shall be, but we are growing toward it. The process is not yet finished, but it is going on, this is not the end, but it is the road. All does not yet gleam in glory, but all is being purified. The dog is the most faithful of animals and would be much esteemed were it not so common. Our Lord God has made his greatest gifts the commonest. My heart, which is so full to overflowing, has often been solaced and refreshed by music when sick and weary. True humility does not know that it is humble. If it did, it would be proud from the contemplation of so fine a virtue. Everything that is done in this world is done by hope. You have as much laughter as you have faith. Feelings come and feelings go, and feelings are deceiving. My warrant is the word of God naught else is worth believing. Though all my heart should feel condemned for want of some sweet token, there is one greater than my heart whose word cannot be broken. I'll trust in God's unchanging word till soul and body sever, for, Though all things shall pass away, his word shall stand forever. Be a sinner and sin boldly, but believe and rejoice in Christ even more boldly. I am afraid that the schools will prove the very gates of hell, unless they diligently labor in explaining the holy scriptures and engraving them in the heart of the youth. There never yet have been, nor are there now, too many good books. The Christian shoemaker does his duty not by putting little crosses on the shoes, but by making good shoes, because God is interested in good craftsmanship. Let the wife make her husband glad to come home and let him make her sorry to see him leave. You are not only responsible for what you say, but also for what you do not say. Where the battle rages, there the loyalty of the soldier is proved. Whoever drinks beer, he is quick to sleep, whoever sleeps long, does not sin, whoever does not sin, enters heaven. Thus, let us drink beer. I have held many things in my hands, and I have lost them all, but whatever I have placed in God's hands, that I still possess. Whenever the devil harasses you, seek the company of men or drink more, or joke and talk nonsense or do some other merry thing. Sometimes we must drink more, sport, recreate ourselves, and even sin a little to spite the devil, so that we leave him no place for troubling our consciences with trifles. We are conquered if we try too conscientiously not to sin at all. So when the devil says to you, do not drink, answer him, I will drink, and write freely, just because you tell me not to. There are two days in my calendar, this day and that day. I cannot choose but adhere to the word of God, which has possession of my conscience, nor can I possibly, nor will I even make any recantation, since it is neither safe nor honest to act contrary to conscience. Here I stand, I cannot do otherwise, so help me God. Amen. Reason is a horror. The greatest enemy that faith has, it never comes to the aid of spiritual things, but more frequently than not struggles against the divine word, treating with contempt all that emanates from God. Although it is very easy to marry a wife, 
it is very difficult to support her along with the children and the household. Accordingly, no one notices this faith of Jacob. Indeed, many hate fertility in a wife for the sole reason that the offspring must be supported and brought up. For this is what they commonly say, why should I marry a wife when I am a pauper and a beggar? I would rather bear the burden of poverty alone and not load myself with misery and want. But this blame is unjustly fastened on marriage and fruitfulness. Indeed, you are indicting your unbelief by distrusting God's goodness, and you are bringing greater misery upon yourself by disparaging God's blessing. For if you had trust in God's grace and promises, you would undoubtedly be supported. But because you do not hope in the Lord, you will never prosper. The Devil, the originator of sorrowful anxieties and restless troubles, flees before the sound of music almost as much as before the Word of God. Music is a gift and grace of God, not an invention of men. Thus it drives out the Devil and makes people cheerful. Then one forgets all wrath, impurity, and other devices. A person who, does not regard music as a marvelous creation of God, must be a clodhopper indeed and does not deserve to be called a human being, he should be permitted to hear nothing but the braying of asses and the grunting of hogs. Peace if possible. Truth at all costs. All who call on God in true faith, earnestly from the heart, will certainly be heard, and will receive what they have asked and desired. All the cunning of the devil is exercised in trying to tear us away from the word. You cannot keep birds from flying over your head but you can keep them from building a nest in your hair. Since then your seer majesty and your lordship seek a simple answer, I will give it in this manner, neither horned nor toothed. Unless I am convinced by the testimony of the scriptures or by clear reason, for I do not trust either in the pope or in councils alone since it is well known that they have often erred and contradicted themselves, I am bound by the scriptures I have quoted and my conscience is captive to the word of God. I cannot and I will not recant anything, since it is neither safe nor right to go against conscience. May God help me. Amen. One book is enough, but a thousand books is not too many. There is no more lovely friendly and charming relationship, communion, or company than a good marriage. The best way to drive out the devil, if he will not yield to texts of scripture, is to jeer and flout him, for he cannot bear scorn. It is neither right nor safe to go against my conscience, 